In 2001, the Discovery Institute released a public statement called Descent from Darwin, which expresses skepticism that random mutations and natural selection can account for the complexity of life. As of January 2011, over 800 scientists have signed the Descent from Darwin list. In response to skepticism of evolution among scientists, in 2005, the Kansas Board of Education held hearings to decide whether to teach intelligent design in high school classrooms alongside evolution. At the conclusion of the hearings, one board member was quoted as saying that evolution is an unproven, often disproven theory. With scientists on both sides of the debate, and school boards questioning the validity of evolution, many ask why we shouldn't just teach the controversy. If the matter isn't settled among scientists, isn't it better to teach our children to have an open mind? In response to lists like Descent from Darwin, the National Center for Science Education introduced Project Steve, which is a list of scientists with the name Steve who support evolution. As of 2011, over 1,100 scientists with the name Steve have signed the list. There are more scientists with the name Steve that publicly support evolution than there are scientists of any name in the entire world who publicly deny it. Something the public is never told by intelligent design advocates is that evolution is the very foundation of modern biology and genetics. Without it, research in these fields would not exist. To deny evolution is to deny the very observations of recorded history where we have seen pie dogs evolve into chihuahuas, dotsons, and great danes, where we have seen weeds evolve into broccoli, cauliflower, and cabbage, where we have seen wild fruit filled with rock-hard seeds evolve into elegant bananas, all in a period of just 6,000 years. Life on Earth originated 3.5 billion years ago. If 3.5 billion years was a football field, 6,000 years would not even be 5 yards. It would not even be a single yard. It would not even be the width of a blade of grass. If 3.5 billion years was a football field, 6,000 years would be the width of approximately 2 human hairs. Imagine what could happen with the whole football field. Intelligent design advocates are welcome to challenge the majority view of evolution with evidence in peer-reviewed scientific journals, just as Albert Einstein challenged and defeated the once-majority view of Newtonian mechanics. Until they can do that, it's not a controversy.